Well, happy Easter. It's April the 4th. And yes, I know it's Easter Sunday. Uh, I feel that the ox is in the well a little bit. Forecast is rain tomorrow. Uh, today's forecast is very nice. It's, I think, 11C now. Uh, it's not even noon. So I have to make some progress on uh, feeding and apple bar. I've got about half of these done now. And yeah, I could probably do them all in one day, maybe two days, but I keep being called away from uh, my duties here. So that's all I'm going to be doing here today. I might be lifting some more weak ones on top of strong ones, binny boards, etc. So I'll show you that if that indeed happens. The feeding frenzy is still going on with the dry supplement. Boy, they're making a mess of it over there. Um, to start off, I'm going to do something that you might find interesting. You may recall I, I wintered four minis. I took my, my mini mating nukes and I put one on top of the other uh, and I wintered four queens in there. Uh, so I'll show you the configuration here. Um, one colony didn't make it. Uh, last I looked, the other three were, were, were uh, still going. Uh, so I want to make sure they have everything they need. I don't want them to starve and uh, You know, I think they're low on ventilation. I think I need to give those minis uh, Some ventilation holes or something. So we'll look at that. It's right here in front of me and we'll see what's going on in there Okay, I know you can't see me but uh, I'm not I don't have my veil up yet These little guys are so gentle often. I don't need it and it's nice to not have that screen in front of your face. Now one of these is dead. I'm not sure which one. It's not that one. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Okay, this frame has plenty of stores. Okay, so that's really nice. I likely won't dig to the bottom box. I need to unwrap and take everything apart. I'll just look at the top and we'll see what's uh, we'll see what the dealio is. So lots of stores here. <clears throat> now there's open feed here. And I think that's probably the jar I had on them. They've stored some of that away. So that's good. They've got excess then. They're not just consuming it as fast as they access it. Okay. Okay, that's a little weird, but... Alright, so... Also got some stored syrup here, stored syrup there. These are my May Queens. These are <clears throat> Queens I can use for some early splits in May. So they've got lots of syrup stored here. Some capped stores from last fall. That brace comb they build, I put the frames back together and it kind of mashes the bees. mash bees but you certainly don't want to mash the queen <clears throat> they are a little flighty I might have to do my veil up that's very heavy just completely filled with stores I would say they're doing good uh, I don't know what the bottom looks like, and that fact is going to remain because I'm not going to take anything apart down there. Because I need to pull all four apart, take the wrap off. It's a huge deal. So, just try to put this back on. 
mash as few bees as possible. So I didn't see a queen, I didn't see any brood. Uh, so that has yet to be seen in these. Okay, look in this one. Oh, this one is even more populous. That's yeah, really nice. I've got my veil up, I don't have a zipper, but I walked across the yard and they were banging into me. Let's see. That's lots of stores on that one. I don't see any stored syrup yet. so much easier to see eggs when you don't have your veil up. I'm not tipped to the sun quite right. But there's nothing in those cells. So this one hasn't stored syrup like the other one. Not that I've seen yet anyway. There's the queen. You can see my my blue queen there, 2020. I see a little bit of cap brood, some mature larva, uh, etc. So she's laying, and they've got cap brood on this side too. All right, so we've got a nice, viable little colony going here. Uh, it looks like they. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna leverage the dead out that I have. Uh, it's one of these two uh, because some of these frames are really quite empty. I'll shake that off. If there's no brood in that, I will remove it and try to find a a heavier frame in the dead out. See, this has a little bit in it. Still not very much. This is the dead out on this side. Hopefully they didn't starve, otherwise I'm not gonna find any feed in it. There's a nice feed frame. And that has some too. A little bit of feed on that. Okay. So try to shake these. And I'll just store them in the dead out. I know the queen isn't on these frames. It's got some feed, some open, and then the other side has got a lot of feed on it. So this feed frame is a pretty good feed frame. Came out of here. I'll put that right next to it. That's a nice queen. She's looking good. She's laying. I'm going to put a 
mark on here with my pen. I'm just going to remind me that I've seen a queen and I've seen brood. This has a nice little cluster, but we'll dig in and see. We'll get the whole story here. That's, a, that's got a lot of feed in it, but it's not drawn quite out here. Uh, it's okay at this point. I really don't like sending a colony into winter with anything that's not drawn because they really need all that space for winter stores. Okay, so there's lots of feed here. Rid of some of this burk home. Makes it hard to put the colony back together. Or the hive, I should say. That one. So there's the queen. She's not marked. So I may just mark her. I see some eggs and very young larvae there. So she's laying. I need to get my pen. I can't mark that queen. I don't have my blue pen handy. Another day, Queenie. Another day. So, when you look at a frame like this, there's open cells, but there's hardly any bees on them. They've actually stored some liquid feed in there. But there's a big clump of bees here. But I don't see even eggs in there, let alone larva. So I guess she's just started laying. But she is laying. She's got a lot of feed, so she doesn't have oodles of space. Maybe I'll give her some space, eh? He's safely in there. So we'll pull some uh, empty frames from the dead out. an empty frame right beside the the tiny patch of brood put this full one back in here so this is uh, this is really good news these queens will likely barring any flash super cold weather They should be just fine. Got that bee cozy on there. So I'll mark that as well. That I saw a queen. And I saw brood. Just a tiny bit, but I did see brood. <laughs> we need to put the queen back in here. How about that? That'll bode well for their future. One climbing around on the outside of it. Okay. It's too bad we lost that one, but this was a this is a proof of concept. Can this happen? 
And uh, the answer to that is yes. I mean, I got another month before I can really say yes, because they could just die yet. But I don't think they will. Might as well work this little nuke that's right next to them. Not a lot of bees on the pail. There's a little bit of syrup in that pail. We'll see what's going on. This is a smaller one that I had moved into the wintering building during the cold weather. They actually look pretty good right now. If you can see them. Yeah, you can. So they they don't look like a colony I'd be worried about at this point, but you know, I guess I was. So I'm going to take that sugar cake off. We'll give them a patty and a strip of apple bar. All right. The wind has uh, shifted around more to the north and it's getting cool. So I've checked everything here. Uh, there's a few dinky ones. Actually, I found, I think it was two more dead. Uh, and they were full 10 frame colony boxes. Not the nukes. The nukes are doing okay. Actually, I found one nuke. One poly nuke was dead. Um, I did a few more of these. My binny boards. Um, this one, this one actually is the only. This one here is the only nuke that uh, went into this kind of a configuration. All of the others, that one, a whole bunch here. All of the others were actually ten frame uh, hives. It just had a dinky little cluster. So I placed them up over the stronger colonies just to get some warmth and hopefully it'll do them some good. I'm going to try and get some open feed going here. Get rid of these pails and jars. I feel that's more effective. You need some warmer weather though. You need 10-15 degrees. I'll walk over here. I haven't actually been over to the feeder yet. It's been a complete gong show over here. Look at that. That's awesome. I can see the line of where that feed is and it's just a little a little more full than halfway so they take that about an inch an hour out of that feeder I hope they're making good use of it so the apiary is still looking pretty good even though mortality is climbing a little I think out of 111 I'm up to 13 maybe 14 dead so that's still respectable I'm happy with that not happy with any dead but you know it is what it is you can't expect 100 percent you could you can get 100 percent but it's pretty tough especially when you got a lot of colonies so we'll build on this We've got a lot to work with here. This is one of the best springs I've had in, uh, what, five years, six years? Somewhere in there. So I have to go in for Easter dinner and uh, kick my feet up and relax a bit. I'm kind of tired. But you know something I've, I haven't used much until I started using it more this spring. That's my wagon. I dragged that around. It's got everything in it. It's got my patties, my apple bar. It's got my catch-all boxes for my wax scrapings. A little catch-all for garbage and miscellaneous sugar cakes that I don't need and feed plugs that I pick up. All that kind of stuff. We got my frame gripper over there. So, it's, I mean, it's not anything too high-tech, but 
sure nice to just drag that around instead of constantly walking around because you don't remember where you put your hive tool or your smoker. Smoker's right there, by the way. Anyway, get one of those. That's an awesome wagon. A little little kid always loves his, his wagon, right? That's I'm just a big little kid. So that's the apiary. Happy Easter, and have a great day. Have fun.